I don't know what volume to put this at. Let's turn this down. Uh, yeah, that was really loud. Okay. I just turned it down by like 10%. I can turn it down more if I need to. Um, I can't remember. Doesn't something happen in the game, like up here where the camera is? Like some kind of notice or something when you make decisions? Or am I remembering that wrong? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Like I can do either one of these. Or I can just... Maybe I'll just do this the whole stream. This is watchable, right? I'll leave it like this because we have the spoopy lights. All right. New story. Starting a new story will override your current progress. I don't have any current progress. I lost all my save data. So what does it matter? The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may Hi. lead to devastating hurricane weeks from now. Oh, hello, Spooky. I have lights. I was going to stick with the regular camera, but Zombie said I should do this one. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. And I was just telling Zombie that I don't personally care in terms of the outcome. <laughs> so, like, if everybody dies, everybody dies. You know, it's whatever. I just want to see what happens. I'm the watcher. Like, which camera to use? <laughs> Your story is one of many possibilities. I've seen every possible ending. I've seen the good ending, I've seen the bad ending, I've seen the in-betweens. Choose your actions carefully. Oh boy. I've only ever played this once, and that was when it came out. Had a bunch of friends over, and we spent the entire Saturday playing the game. Start to finish. And I think we had... Maybe two or three of the people survive? I can't remember. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. See, now it seems quiet. I think this is a little bit of a hoax. Come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my I'm not even making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. It's Emily. That's the one you don't like. So she has to survive at every co at <laughs> at every cost. <laughs> Emily, sole survivor. on somebody? I don't remember how this starts. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh? No one needs friends like these. I mean, you're not wrong. All right, basic movement. This guy's drunk. If I'm remembering correctly, doesn't Hannah like have a thing for Mike and they're all fucking with her? Like, I'm starting to remember. I have no idea where I'm going. And he's currently dating Emily. And she's in on it? Maybe we do need to kill Emily. Can I walk faster? Oh, what did I hit? Beth. Current objective, find out what the others are up to. Use the right stick to look around. Objects that glint can be inspected. Okay. Oh, hey. 
I don't remember. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. What did our naive sister get herself into now? You're still terrified something like this might happen to you? Who do you know that would do that to you? Oh, he drunk. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. I've got your note. I'm glad you could make it. What kind of friends are these? Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. That's a totally natural line. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt. Why do they have a camera? What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's so all gonna happen. Just but... a stupid prank. Uh, hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah. Just casually comes out of the closet with a camera. What the fuck? Use the right stick to choose. What am I choosing? Oh. Oh god. Um. Wake up, Josh. Josh. I need to get. Josh. I need to get acclimated. <laughs> how this works. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? It's just a prank, bro. Seriously. What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? She literally she said it. Around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. <laughs> she literally said it. All right, oh, press shit. the correct action buttons until the timer runs out. Right, okay. Also, I feel like I should turn down everything but the dialogue. The characters seem really quiet. Uh, fast. Good luck, don't die. Also, when we get to other parts of the game where we have to make choices, just shout out what you would vote for. I'm not gonna like pause and do polls or anything. Uh, there actually, yeah, there is. Damn it, Hannah. Can I do it now? Damn it, Hannah. Nope, settings are blocked off right now. Where are you? Well, she's that way, obviously. Follow the footprints. the touchpad is shown. Hannah! Look, I don't care how upset I am with my shitty friends, I'm not running out into a blizzard in the middle of the woods. <laughs> like, I just run to my room and shut the door. But then there's no plot. Okay. I, that almost got me. Hold L1 to walk faster. Yeah, she's looking for her sister. I'm talking about the sister Hello? running Hello? out. What do we got here? What if they're sharing a room? Oh. Death totem. <laughs> yeah, she dumb. <laughs> Isn't that like... Totem prophecies. The possible death of the person who finds it. Oh boy. So basically they're warnings, like, hey, you, you might huh? you might die here. Hannah. <laughs> I 
Uh, what the hell was that? It's totally normal. Girl don't even have a coat. Anna. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. See? I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. <laughs> kind of chilly here. Yeah. Yeah, fuck all this. No! No! Shit! No! Get back! Fuck! No! Ah! Hold on! Hold on! Oh shit. Uh what? Um I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm so sorry. Nope. <laughs> it didn't matter what choice you make. Yeah. The intro is set in stone, you can't change it. Oh, this guy. I forgot about him. There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one could change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. See? We have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Wasn't this the guy in Lost World that got eaten by the compies? So, thought I recognized you have him. Committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple... I didn't sign up for therapy on here. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Oh. Okay. Creepy scarecrow. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. So do we say it makes me happy or I feel uneasy? Looks like this one isn't timed. I don't know. I, I would say I feel uneasy. Why would a creepy scarecrow make me happy? I don't know. Also, I don't know how these choices impact the game. I think they do in some way. But I don't remember how. I'm gonna go with I feel uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Yeah, the scarecrow. 100. Oh, you know what? I remember now. I think they're tricking us. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. Scarecrow, we're not there. Would you 
feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time, say a week, for example? I mean, why, it, it looks like it's just a barn. Why would I stay there? No. Oh, no? Why not? I'd be scared or I'd be lonely. I mean, it's just a barn. It probably doesn't even have Wi-Fi. I'd be lonely. Aye. There's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future. Hmm? Yeah, I don't trust him either. Because I'm afraid we're out of time. <laughs> Not for now. Until the next session. And uh, until then, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel safe. Like right here. I'm safe on my stream. Right? You, got, you guys are you guys are here for me? Maybe. No Wi-Fi? Oh hell no. See, so yeah, I believe. Now, the decisions can change what happens, but that intro is set in stone. I wonder if this is going to get muted. Stormare, that is him. That's the guy that got eaten by compies, the therapist. Fucking creep. I think Brent Dalton was on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I have no idea whom's... Nicole Bloom is on Superstore. Don't know who the other guy is. It's a decent cast. I like the people that are in this. Even if their characters are just complete assholes. I totally forgot about that shitty prank. Prank. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really what want it? to spend some quality time they need with better friends. Each, each and every one of you, and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget, for for the sake of my sisters and you know okay so let's 
party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> You're brave to answer your phone this late on a Friday. Oh my god, no, you should have hung up. I would have immediately hung up. It's a long intro. Oh no! <laughs> also, I feel like Josh is uh, too well put together for somebody who lost his twin sisters. I don't believe it. Thanks. It's been a year. I... Look. If my sisters went missing and were probably dead, I don't think a year would be enough time to be okay with that. That's just me. Ten hours until dawn. Roll credits. That's true. He's a breakdown waiting to happen. Aren't we all? <laughs> Ain't that a fucking mood? Sam, Hannah's best friend. She's diligent, considerate, adventurous. She's also Kyrie. Or used Hello? to be. First two Someone games. There? Okay. I'm why okay, but seriously. Why is everybody alone in the woods at night? You like Sam? We can keep her alive. I mean, she's like the headliner character, isn't she? Like, she was the star power. Look who we got in the game. The gate's busted. Climb over. Is that what that says? Uh, what? <sighs> what are you talking about, Chris? <laughs> Climb over. What, you scared of some trees? Oh, do we do quick or safe? I mean, I don't think it matters, right? Let's go with quick. Quick? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Oh god. Gotta go fast. Jump! Oh, I forgot to adjust the, uh, I'll do it once I get over the fence. Are we being watched? I don't think it matters in a game about decisions causing death. Eh. Details, right? Alright, audio. So dialogue is already all the way up, so we turn down music and sound effects a little bit? I don't know. That should be fine. Oh yeah, I took the posters down. I don't know if you can still see the spots where I painted, uh, especially where you destroyed my wall, but it should be dry by now. Actually, no, it looks like it's dry now. Hmm. Floating bookshelves? I mean, maybe? <laughs> command tape destroy- Zombie. There were eight pieces of command tape on that wall, and only one of them damaged it, and it was the one that you ripped <laughs> like you were trying to start a fucking lawnmower. <laughs> uh, oh, look! He's so cute! Don't move. Last time I tried to help. I do appreciate the help. It was easy to fix. Just spackle, sand, paint. Very, very simple. You can see your current objective by pressing R1. Head to the cable car station. So, what would I put on the floating bookshelves? Would I bring down some things from upstairs, maybe? Also, I, I do want to bring down my... Uh, I don't know if you remember the Moogle lamp that I had on that shelf of many things. It can actually light up and turn on, so when spooky season is over, I could put the Moogle where the pumpkin is. 
seasonal items. I do actually want to get like a little a little Christmas tree or Merry Crisis tree or whatever for December. But the thing is, at the same time, I might not be streaming that much in December because it's the holidays. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe the butterflies carry dreams and pro prophecies of possible futures. It's the multiverse. The color of the butterfly indicates the nature of the prophecy. Black butterflies for death, red for danger, brown for tragedy, yellow for help, white for good luck and good fortune. So the couch is free. Hey, if Riku wants somewhere to sit, she can go right on top of Sora's head. You know? Oh, no, I didn't mean to hit that. Okay. What? Right. Damn it. <laughs> I know how to use a controller. Guidance totem. So, I could do some shelves back there, but I feel like my concern would be they're really far away and it would be blurry. And also, on the normal game camera, you really wouldn't see them too much. But, I don't know. That's an idea. L1 to go quicker. Chris? You here? Oh, of course it's locked. Okay, are we going to close the bag, or are we going to snoop and look at the phone? I like that these aren't timed. This is what Detroit needed. I had to pause the game way too much in Detroit. It should just hover there and float and let you decide. We're just going to have to listen to the ringing. Be good, so close the bag? Come on, you don't want to snoop? You don't want to disrespect somebody's privacy? <laughs> okay. We'll close the bag. Oh, there's the butterflies. Butterfly effect appears when your actions have changed the narrative of the game. Chris? Sam, hey, you made it. Has a crush on Ashley. He's methodical, protective, and humorous. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come Ew, on. his name is Chris. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> right around here. It's gonna blow your mind. What, you don't think, uh... Wait. What's our name again? You don't think Sam could answer the phone and be like, Yeah, this, this is Chris. <laughs> totally believable. Blue found wanted poster. Oh, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Like Victor Milgram. Up. I'm guessing that's oh, the creepy flamethrower guy. Here. Comes up here. Collect clues to solve the mysteries of Until Dawn and increase your chances of survival. Oh, jeez. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. Oh, now I'm playing right. as Chris. Here goes. Oh, jeez, I forgot about this. Some of them are really quick, aren't they? Like, you have to, like, like, oh, like that fast or you die. Wow, nice shooting tips. All right, <laughs> I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go uh, not with that dancer, with no. a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Well... Anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Squirrel. <laughs> you 
you if I miss because of his attitude. Oh, should I shoot the squirrel? <laughs> no. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> All right. I like the pun. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. I think we shot the squirrel when we played it years ago, and she gets really pissed, as she should. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I could swear she's like, what the fuck did you do that for? Like, Man, it is it's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Yeah, that's weird. Gate door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. Creepy. Awful convenient that your family owns the whole fucking ski lodge. What's the point of this? Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of being timed at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Can you imagine somebody standing there just doing this? So beautiful in the day, but at night it feels menacing like sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh shut up. God, I do not trust these things. Cable cars? Like that? I know they're safe, but it just sets off all my alarms. I'm like, oh hell no. I don't want to get on that thing. Finally. You coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Just like going to prom, is that what he said? Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> I just want to know. You know what? Let's just, I hope the game explains. Like, what were they doing what with that prank? Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. Like, what did no, they hope Josh to accomplish? Either? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. <laughs> I like that he had to personally explain the concept of the game. They were drunk and it was a severe lapse of judgment. I think it was just a severe lapse of judgment. I think they were just shitty people. Jess! <laughs> Mike's new girlfriend. She's confident, trusting, and irreverent. I never trust somebody named Jess. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Name oh, now people. it's Jessica. Meet and greet. She has a great name. I disagree. Well, fuck you, too. <laughs> what the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, our 
Are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? So do we need to keep her alive because of her name? Is that... Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, for sake, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, well, well. What was that? What do we have Chris. Here? My goodness. Can I get that as a sound effect? <laughs> that someone has a little crush on our good friend. Chris saying blip. class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Oh. Do we insist give that back or explain I'm with Mike now? Wait, hold up. I'm with Mike now. Wasn't Emily with Mike? Wow. <laughs> you ever heard of meeting new people? I... Anyway, um... What about that line about Jess? Yeah, a year ago Emily was with Mike. I already forgot who's who. So do we insist give that back or do we explain? While well, she continues to bite her lip. I feel like we should explain. <laughs> Perfect. How's it going, Star Sugar Sprite? I feel like we should explain. Let's just like put it all out there. Because if we insist, give that back. It's like stirring drama. You know? Yeah. I agree. Mike and M Slit were together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Wow. Well, at least you're to the point. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. I'm getting tired of all this nature junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? <laughs> I mean, you know. Okay, that was kind of funny. Uh huh. Sam. <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow! Sometimes I forget it. To just Stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge oh, there's your right favorite. where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex. She's intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. And if you ask Zombie, a total bitch. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt! Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, and active. I forgot how much of this cast shares names with my real friends. No. Persuasive. And where's the bellboy when you need one? It's so weird seeing Nicole Bloom play this character who's just like getting chills. We're almost there. Who's just no, I mean, like this. Kind of <laughs> because her character oh. and the only other thing I know her from is kinda of didzy. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Annoying and bossy. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I was just translating for you. What do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> this guy. Mike, Emily's ex. He's intelligent, driven, and also persuasive. And with a face like that, he needs to persuade you. Guys, <laughs> Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just No, now. you didn't. Nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. You Come didn't on. clock anybody. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. Spooky. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Threaten. Back off, Mike. Welcome. We're all friends here. Alright, what's Matt gonna do? Is he gonna scrap or is he gonna be diplomatic? Um... Fool this man! <laughs> <laughs> the guy that plays Mike is a great actor. He was in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, he's a good actor, but yeah, he's, he's definitely... Matt's chill, so welcome. Yeah, I mean, he was like, I was gonna clock you, even though he completely, like, jumped out of his skin. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just, uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. 
You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trail. All right. See you, man. <laughs> see ya. What was that? All right, see ya. Are they trying to make us want everyone to die? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. In the Sorry, same direction I, I, that your I ex went. I need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Oh, okay. Agree. Okay, I'll go or persist. I'm not leaving you alone. Hmm. See, I think it's a little sus that she's all of a sudden like, hey, can you take everything? I'm going to go the same direction that he did. Like, what's up with that? Agree? So you're going to let her go? I mean, I can, I can, I can. Well, this is weird. Look at, look at, look at his eyes. But otherwise, it's like you don't trust her. But she shouldn't trust him with his eyes doing that. All right, let's go with agree. All right, fine. He's possessed. <laughs> it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. He's having a stroke. <laughs> What's up, Brunkle? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust her. Up there, sweetie. Thank you. She's up to something. She even, she smirked. Or am I just seeing things? What the hell? You're really gonna tell your boyfriend to just carry the rest of your shit up to the mountain and then go chase after your ex right in front of him? Some people's children. Ashley has a crush on Chris. She's academic, inquisitive, and forthright. Oh, what? Hello. What did I tell you? Somebody's getting a little friendly. Or not in the friend zone kind of way. I <gasps> need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. What did I tell you? Are they arguing? Oh! Ah! <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Fuck you, Matt. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, what? Matt. I didn't mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was some bullshit. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, damn. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. It, uh, yeah, have a look. Mislead, it's busted, or encourage, take a look. Oh man. Do we cover Emily, who's being deceitful, or do we incite the drama? Mislead? I mean, I don't care. You don't want to hurt Matt. This brings up an interesting point. What's worse? Like, would you would you want to hide the truth from someone because you don't want to hurt them? Or would it be kinder to just tell them the truth? Because it would hurt them more later to find out that they were lied to. You feel bad for him? I agree with Spooky. It's better to know, right? That's just me. It's a fucking video game. I don't really care. But just in general, like, I'm the kind of person that would always want to know. Because it's going to be more hurtful to find out that somebody lied to you than to just know. Even if it's something shitty. Even if it's your girlfriend is running off to meet her ex in the woods. Situational, but give it to me early. Yeah, see? But we'll go with mislead. We'll go for the, we'll go for the drama. The suspense. Yeah, it's kind of busted it's not it's not like really interesting it's just hey zombie was the she voted <laughs> i bet i could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something oh okay it's not too late we can agree to help let him let him look or insist last chance there's more drama if you encourage did you say you were here to cause chaos agree then let him see you feel like it's three to one. Okay. Well, help yourself. Uh, sure. Help yourself. All right, what's oh. he going to see? Son of a bitch. 
Well. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? You couldn't see Emily, this coming a mile away? No, I, damn it. Matt. Oh, he angry. Is it ever just nothing with them? I feel like everybody's known someone like that, right? Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. What the fuck? But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Man. <laughs> yeah, why is he dating her? <laughs> Where's Peaches? Yeah, they sound just like her. Hit him in the face! <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? Chickadee? Call me a chickadee? Oh, ah. Hey! Oh, snap! Bird. Hide a rocket one? I was just about to say, where's May from Overwatch being like, I'm putting a rock in this one. Hey, Mike. Load it up. <laughs> what is the significance? Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Yeah. Why would I throw a snowball at a bird? I'm not doing that. Hit him in the face. Wow! Right. Oh. Just... And then what? Oh, oh. No more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. Oh. Got him. <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done. City. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. Yikes. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like I don't even need to ask. I want to grab a snowball. But we have a choice of grab snowball or kiss Mike. I don't want to encourage anything with Mike, but what the fuck? This guy's such a dick. He's running off into the woods meeting Emily, and now he's like trying to hook up with with Jessica. Like, what what is this guy? Snowball? Yeah, I, I you know I think I'm gonna make an executive decision, and that's just what we're doing. I'm sure it's gonna be playful, but it's better than kiss. Stop! Yeah, get out of here. Oh ho ho. Okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have Disappointment. to Disappointment? Until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Oh, so guys, I was trying to take advantage of Jessica's. I, mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Like I said, disappointment. Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. I don't need Mike. He disappoints me. That reminded me of the plushy fight from Tell Me Why, but it was a lot less cute. Hello again. Hello. And how are we feeling? More therapy. I, I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. Yeah. I'd say so. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Bro, I've been trying to do that for years. Turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes 
This is why I'm in therapy. No kidding. Men worry. Men do worry me. This isn't even a vote. Like, legitimately. Being completely real. Men worry me. Alright. Planes scare me and crowds scare me. Legitimately? Planes scare me. I know that statistically speaking, they're far safer than cars and trains and everything else. I'm just terrified of them. I get on a plane and the moment we're off the ground, it's panic mode until I'm on the ground again because I'm scared of heights and I don't like being off the ground. So even though I can sit there and like logically talk to myself and be like, I'm going to be totally fine. It still freaks me out. Crowds, I don't give a shit. It's getting some therapy here, you know? Like I've had legitimate nightmares about dying in plane crashes. Like it's, it's I fear heights. I do. Genuinely, they're gonna make me like do shit that's high up in the game now, aren't they? Like drowning would suck too, but heights way more. Snakes scare me, rats scare me. I mean, neither one really does. I would say probably between the two, I would pick snakes just because some of them can kill you. Rats, I, I don't care. Are you evaluating me? Yeah, he's just taking notes. Guns are scary, knives are scary. Truthfully, I feel like they both are. Um, but I have a lot more. I would say I'd, I'd actually, yeah, US versus UK, seriously. I would actually say knives are scary. Because, like, I, I don't know. I think. It would be a lot worse for somebody to be on top of you with a knife than somebody shooting at you from far away. But what do I know? I've never been in either situation. I fear cockroaches. I mean, no, they're gross, but I'm not afraid of them. Just kill it. Who cares? Snakes still. Yeah, keep writing your notes, bud. Clowns scare me, and I fear scarecrows. I mean... I'm not scared of either one. But let's just go with clowns, because they're they're more mainstream, I guess, fear. Like, I don't know anybody like that's afraid of a scarecrow. Gore disgusts me. Crows are scary. Gore does actually disgust me. Um, crows are scary. Okay, we'll say crows are scary. Why not? A good horror movie to me doesn't need to rely on gore. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it, like if a if a horror movie Try is just a gore fest, like I'm not interested. Up. That's not scary. The more it's just you gross. Rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Maybe you should lie to this dude. Why? Wow, he's totally trustworthy. Uh, fuck spiders. 100%. Absolutely hate them. I don't fear needles. I'm not afraid of needles. Let's stick with crows. Why would you do that? <laughs> We're being honest. Zombies scare me. Clowns scare me. Zombies are, are, are I think more terrifying than clowns could ever be. I'm not afraid of dogs. We're going to keep going with crows. Storms do not scare me. Crows. We apparently have a phobia of crows. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. Spiders, zombies, and crows. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> it is Friday night. Uh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Unfortunately.
How come even the therapist's office doesn't have lights on? Just turn on a fucking light. Previously on. Do we need that? We literally just did it. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Anna! Wait, what? What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. What do you mean she deserves it? What kind of shit... That's some nonsense. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Black... Lights on isn't covered by the insurance. <laughs> I really want to spend some quality... You gotta pay extra for that. ...each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For... For the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a... Bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. I can't believe they had Chris actually sit there and explain the concept yeah, of the game. I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? That feels the same to me. Josh, Hannah, and Beth's brother. He's complex, thoughtful, and loving. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawal already. You've got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Whoops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Honey, got a bad you've got a big storm coming. <laughs> Who's that directed at, though? You get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Gossip about Matt and Emily or worry about Josh. Well, I want to say that somebody's best friend would be concerned about them, but Chris doesn't seem... I don't know. Worry? Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sis. Stop. I just meant that... No, I know what you meant. Uh -oh. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Life's You're over it? I used to. I don't Damn believe it. that. It's a freaking thing. It's ice. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be, like, a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hi, Chris. All right, she has a crush on him, right? She just walks through me. Unsettled, it's weird to be back, or confident. It's nice being back. <laughs> I don't think this really matters, does it? If it was me, I'd be unsettled. You doing all right? Yeah. Aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. Okay. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? Um, She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not going to bang her, maybe Mike will take up the case. Wait, will you back off already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. These people. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. <laughs> what is this? Maybe you're right, or I don't know. What? 
I don't know. I don't know, man. How can you not know? What if it's like weird? And what if she she might not, like want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that? I mean, weren't you just listening? You gotta buck up, bro. Grow a pair. <sighs> okay. So Josh is a frat boy, I guess? Bad dating so advice. How are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? It's horrible I dating advice. I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshis, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. Can I... Yeah. Well, well, thought. well, we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. But then you can offer to help warm those buns up. Whose side are you on? <laughs> okay, Josh. The side has ruined me. Yeah, blame him. <laughs> Awful convenient. Smooth. Oh, I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. That's totally what he would say. Did I do that? I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Wait, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on, it's a can. Oh, yeah, now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we do with the little army dudes. Yep, ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. I feel like I need that as a sound effect. That's... Totem? Oh, we saw a possible death for Emily. And now? Didn't he say in the bathrooms? portrait so Josh is the only kid left because his twin sisters died they had no other siblings huh? what the hell was that well the door shut it was probably a draft what the fuck is that <laughs> uh, I forgot I added that No! They're buns! They're freezing! Hi, Chris. Very funny. Can't see oh, shit. How'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. Are you? Okay. Deodorant. Where the hell's the bathroom? Yeah, seriously. We can't see shit in here. Not their buns. I know. They're freezing. I mean, that was the central focus of the conversation, right? We have to be concerned. I'm going to guess that the bathroom's upstairs. At least I assume so. Can't 
can't even close the window in this place, really? You believe I am correct? This looks like there might be a bathroom somewhere. Hey! Whoa! Jesus! <laughs> Hello, Fee. Sorry, I was walking to my car and had too much in my hands, so this is a little late, but gross. Directed at that guy's advice. Oh, so you've been here? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was solid dating advice. What are you talking about? Uh, this looks like a bathroom. Yeah, there was nothing suspicious or weird or creepy about anything that he said. <laughs> Didn't get me this time. What the fuck? Didn't get me this time. Matt scared me when he jumped in front of the fucking binoculars, but... <laughs> That got you. <laughs> Didn't get me. Not this time. Not today, Satan. Yeah, that's totally safe. You're not gonna light the house on fire at all. And then he just fucking grabs it. I'll be here all week. Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It's like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. This whole friend group is so toxic. They're just constantly mean to each other. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Oh, no. Here comes the drama. What's up at home, bro? We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off and have whatever you want. Oh, shit. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. Okay. Alright, y'all. Do we warn him to stay away from Emily, or do we challenge him and say that we saw them? That's a... Either way, it looks like we're confronting him. <laughs> like, there's no way out of it. Um... Challenge? Otherwise, you just look like a dick. Challenge. Stay your ground. Do you mean... Stay your ground, do you mean warn or challenge? Sorry, it looks like we have two votes for challenge. May as well be clear about it. Guys like that are why I hate them. I think... I feel like Josh was just trying to rile him up. It's still creepy and fucked up, but... Challenge? Alright. Everybody so far seems to be saying challenge. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? Oh shit. I saw you and M. Through the telescope. Oh, thank Before, you for the hydrate. We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Do we distrust or apologize? I feel like... I would say distrust. I feel like Matt would apologize. You have no context. You haven't missed too much. Um, quick cliff notes. The guy Josh, the one that was giving the terrible dating advice, his twin sisters died one year ago up on this mountain because the entire rest of the group decided it would be a fun prank to uh, tell his one sister who had a crush on this douchebag Mike that we're confronting right now um, that he was interested in her too. So they left her a note, hey, come meet me in the room, and Mike was in there waiting, and they were all hiding and ready to, like, snap a picture of her and try to embarrass her. It was completely fucking horrible. And she ran out of the house. Her sister ran after her. And then they both fell off a cliff and died. Uh, but nobody ever found them. And so now all those friends are back here one year later. So he is upset because he looked through a telescope and saw Mike talking to his current girlfriend. So there you go. So, do we distrust or apologize? I want to say distrust, because I just want to keep fueling this and see where it goes, but... That might just be me. 
distrust. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. That's fucked up? Yeah. You, you, you're not lying. Remember what happens, and you don't like either option. Keep going, distrust. Okay, we're going distrust. Um, right. Right, I'm sure it's all it was. You know what? You can think whatever you want. It's a free country. Watch yourself, Mike. Oh, he angry. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his sinkhole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you? These people are friends. Your sluttiness too loud. Sounds like someone's bitter. She didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep, calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Oh dear God! All right, do we provoke and tell Jess that's uncalled for, or do we diffuse and tell Emily it's uncalled for? Oh my God! Um, <laughs> poor Matt. He's just in the middle of all this. Jess does not deserve this. I, I, I was inclined to agree with you, but she's being. Just as catty. I don't know. These how are these people friends? <laughs> They're not friendly to each other at all. Uh, okay. To be fair, Emily started it. That is true. But she could have diffused. She could have diffused. Provoke. He's the guy that messes around. All right, we got two votes for provoke. That's enough for me. Hey, hey you're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you too. Wow. Wait, that's that's uncalled. Look, whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. <laughs> this is just... This is getting out of hand. We can provoke and say, shut your mouth, Jess, or we can diffuse and say, Emily, stop. Provoke. <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. Alright. I'm, I'm with it. Let's provoke. We want chaos. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No. I refuse the diffuse. You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Because I am down to get real. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for 10 minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah, yeah, all right. You wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. It's right Jesus. up Jesus. Well, that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, can we get this fire going? These people are not friends. Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my God, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, Do I you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> She's so likable. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. <sighs> then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Matt, it's having okay. a fun time so far. Yes, a very fun time. Just do what I do and tell them you don't care who said what, but they both okay. need to stop. Well, it looks like Josh took care of that. You have a bad feeling about the bag. I have a bad feeling about Exiled. Emily. Exiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. 
I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right, and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. Gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like Wow. That. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? <laughs> what? No. Oh, we get to play as Mike now? Wonderful. Um, I, I just have a question. Do guys really talk to people like that? Like the way he was talking to her? It's the coziest love dead you'll ever lay your eyes on. Really? The cringe is real. And this is a uh, an interactive horror movie. We just haven't gotten to the... Well, we pre I think we have gotten to some horror. Just not the kind that we signed up for. Right, read my mind. Hot lips? Really? Okay. Let's take a selfie. I feel like Mike would just like <laughs> like completely miss. Uh, good effort. Next time I get the camera, okay? <laughs> well, okay, but it's not easy holding the thing all like It's a picture of his forehead at the same time. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I've got cabin fever. So far, there's only been a couple jump scares. Like, a fucking wolverine jumped out of the cabinet. Burr, it is freezing out I don't- I personally, I don't think it's scary, but... If you don't do well with horror, the later parts of the game might be intense. Uh, a few things in mind. You don't want to know what you almost typed. No, go for it! What did you almost type? Why do I have to play as Mike? Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. Wow. So do we agree that Emily was being a bitch or disagree and ease up on Emily? I mean, I think universally we would all agree Emily was being a bitch, but... Also, I think that's definitely what Mike would say. Um. Yeah, let's just agree. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. Oh boy. Wait, what was that thing? Hold on. I thought I could interact with this. No? Okay. He was hugging her earlier, though. Yeah, but Mike seems like the kind of guy that's, like, running around behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? He did. I like the actor that plays Mike. I don't like Mike. <laughs> that's the sign of good acting. Mike. Gonna find the generator or what? I'm looking at a totem. Hang on. Oh! So... Ashley might possibly be in danger. So the totems, uh, for anybody who didn't see when it was explained, they kind of like show glimpses of potential futures. Okay, Jess, Girl, calm just down. Yell at it like you're yelling at me. Let's see if that works. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't like Mike, but All that was right. funny. That was funny. Let's see. I don't care about any of the characters so far. I think they're all very unlikable. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. So this game, it has multiple different possible endings and ways to get to those endings. Kind of like Detroit. So the totems show you... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the totems show you possibilities. They don't show you guarantees. What's that guy creeping outside the window for? Let me in! Let me in! Did it work? Hell yeah. 
shall open. Giving Jessica's a bad name. Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. That was just awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hit. <laughs> God. <laughs> Who are these people? What? Automod didn't like the word creep? What the fuck? So psyched right now. It's like a little adventure. A sex Goggle day. creep is my favorite so far. He didn't open his mouth, which makes him way more likable. Oh my god. I like the part where he stops talking. Too spoopy. I'm Hannah and Beth. Uh oh. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. Respectful, I hope they're at peace. Ask, what do you remember? I mean, dude, you were like the central figure of the prank that got them killed. <sighs> hmm. Ask? Yeah, I think... I don't think Mike gives a shit that they're dead. He didn't give a shit that they were around when they were alive. It's all such a blur. You barely even remember what happened. Yeah, of well, course you don't. What I remember is that we played a stupid half-baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, I mean, it's not our fault they ran into the woods. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How could anyone have expected them to do a dumb thing like that? <laughs> he just doesn't want to be responsible. He's like, I don't remember what happened. It's not our fault. They shouldn't have ran into the woods. You shouldn't have pranked the girl in the group that has a crush on you to make her think that you were interested so you could catch her on 4K. Like, fuck off. Did you hear that? I heard something. Yeah. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with the path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink... <laughs> Smart. Yes! <laughs> Fuck! It's, they're keeping hey, the trope alive. People in horror movies are not the smartest. Um, okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. I didn't think I felt. Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Did you get out? I... I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Cautious. Push the cart. Heroic. I'll jump down. Hmm. Cautious or heroic? Seven? <laughs> um... I'm gonna guess that she was making a crude joke. Because that's what these people seem to be doing. So she got two legs, two arms, her head, and two breasts. So I'm assuming that that's her joke. Because they've been making cringy sex jokes this entire time. Heroic, he wants to be the center of attention. Okay. All right, coming after you. Just oh, butterfly you effect. Oh, shit! Was that the... Was that Bronco's favorite character standing behind us? Is he following us? All right. Help me move it, help me move it. Get him, goggles. <laughs> I imagined us grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> See? Shitty, stupid, cringy sex jokes every time. I pictured us grunting together, but not like this. Shut the fuck up. My hero. He's the best character so far. He's got a flamethrower. He's wearing goggles. He's creeping everybody the fuck out. It's perfect. Whoa! I missed the button. Yeah, fuck you, Mike. Oh my gosh, are you okay? I don't even feel bad. He deserves it. Yes. 
She likes wet willies. I hope not. Didn't get me. Not today, jump scares. Whoever wrote this script, your mom's a hoe. Can I look at this thing? No. Talking about how horny they are in a mine, weirdos. What, being in a mine shaft doesn't get you going? What do we got over here? Areas at risk, danger. Jesus. So, this is a real fixer upper. All of it? By the look of it? I think the point was to make us hate them. I mean, they started off strong with them doing the prank on their friends. Like, these are not likable people. And they don't get along. Cabin. I can't go any faster. She's in the way. Well, well. When Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, oh my God. Planning on getting presidential on me? Uh, I'm take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the stump speech, buddy. Ooh, a telescope! Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. Uh oh. I just saw someone at the cabin. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Whoa! Wait, did something jump in front of that? I don't think I processed it. Hello? Sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. Uh, maybe. Okay. Hey, Jess. Mm-hmm. Stay close by, okay? What's that? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. And wolves. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug a bear. Can you imagine the actors in the... In the Recording booth having to say these lines. Let's not hug a bear. I'm like, what's the context for this scene again? Oh. Music's getting a little creepy. Oh! Fuck you, bird! Annoyed. Rats with wings are witty. I was just flirting. I'm going with witty. Just, just answering this meeting. Wow. Got him. Yeah. Got a lot of love to give. Oh my god. You're gonna just go for a bit. You sense some impending horror. Nah. They've only been jump scaring us with animals and people so far, right? It's not gonna get any worse. I can't believe I got scared by Matt at a fucking bird, but not the Wolverine. 
got a lot of love to give. Is that why you were hugging Emily? Oof. <laughs> Call him out on his shit. Hit him with a minecart. You mean a ring bearer, right? Damn it, Josh. Props for the pun. Cleared out the path before sending us up here. Really? I love puns. Figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. Debbie Downer. Oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. Perfect. Do it again. Okay. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes. Yes. Uh oh. 